Michael Sarah Palin. A little less wall of soundy than something like Hot Mulligan would be. Um, but I love the band, and someone told me to do a tutorial on them. So we're going to do that. I was listening to them on the way here. It's interesting how how much they use bass. They almost use it as another guitar in some songs. So we're going to do that today. We're going to use uh, a bass as the main parts. It's going to be interesting. Let's do it. So we'll open up Amplitude, and we'll choose the classic SVX Pro that I've been using. All right, let's, uh, let's just play a riff. Okay, so I recorded a bunch of ideas. Uh, I'm just gonna sort them out into an actual uh, intelligible progression. Okay, so I got the verse right here. And then the pre-chorus. And the chorus. Something I've noticed about uh, Michael Sarah Palin's songs, they're they're pretty overdriven and like they're more wall of soundy in the chorus. Um, for those that don't know what wall of sound means, it's just like imagine a wall of sound. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, so much sound it feels like a wall. So we're gonna throw overdrive stuff, a bunch of a uh, bunch of layers here in the chorus. But we're gonna keep the verse and pre-chorus bare. For the drums, we're actually gonna use the uh, the acoustic trifecta pack I have. It's available uh, in the description if you want to buy it. It's three acoustic drum kits. Um, right now I'm using a hybrid of the Kev kit and the Deluxe kit, and they're on this drum rack uh, with uh, varying velocities, so like that. Okay, so for the soft stuff, we're going to use something a little more Fender-based. Um, maybe like a Twin Reverb or a Princeton, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, I like that. We're going to keep it on the second pickup. And we have that nice ringing of the uh, strings hitting the frets because the action is so low, which I've noticed in Michael Sarah Palin's videos, so works out for me. Let's tune this thing and just come up with some ideas. I'm going to go into this section and just add some more room. Like that. I'm going to throw a compressor on there too. Let's just add a uh, booster. There it is. So this is going to be the intro. We'll start adding here. Okay, so that's all done. Um, I'm basically just playing really open chords, something like uh, like this. All in standard tuning. Um, something like this. Just open tuning, uh, or just open chords. So yeah, and I'm not playing super polished or anything. It's it's you know it's a Michael Paris Salen, Michael Michael Sarah Palin um, song. It's not supposed to be super super polished. It's 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 Midwest, you know. Uh, let's basically take everything we did and double it again and pan it left and right, and then we might drown it out in a bit of reverb, and we'll work on the chorus, and then we'll be close to done, honestly. All right, and then we'll go back into Amplitube and we'll do some overdrive tones. We're gonna switch to a humbucker. Gonna want one of those. We might even just be okay with this Amplitube thing. I'm just gonna switch it to low sensitivity. I prefer it that way. And then I'll throw a uh, a uh, overdrive pedal on. Uh, let's get the room in there again, still. Get it to 100% width. Maybe a little less. Let's go to this mic. I don't want a U87. I find they're a little too, a little too bright. Um, we're gonna swap it for, I don't know, like a 421? Yeah, something like that. Beautiful. Okay, now that we got that good backing layer of overdriven guitars, let's name it and we'll hop back into Amplitude. Let's actually see what the uh, Michael Sarah Palin guys use. Let's go into Equip Board. Mike. Go Sarah Palin, Elliot Brabant, and nothing is here. Okay, cool. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to guess. I'm gonna hop into a, a Z-Rec, maybe? Yeah, cool. 
um, throw a two screamer on there. Give a little more high end there, and let's go. Same thing again, duplicate, pan left and right. I think that's pretty good for now. I might add some uh, guitars later. Let's just create a random drum beat on the spot. Total, total improv. Cool, added some compression here. Pretty heavy compression. Throw a let's throw a devil lock to locks on that snare. Okay, so we got this. Um, the only processing I did really was on the kick. I just added this EQ curve right here. I added some general 76 compression on the entire bus. It's pretty strong actually. And then this Valhalla room, and then let's turn that reverb down because it's clearly too much. And then on the snare, I have a devil lock. I'm actually gonna turn that on when the chorus hits. Lastly, add a symbol right there. I kind of want to make these sound like they're farther away. I'm going to throw an auto filter on. Bring that room up more. And then let's leave the pre-chorus pretty bare with drums. Give it more of a ride. Okay, so we got this verse. I want to make this bass more prominent. Let's turn it up. Um, and then in order to turn it up, we're going to need to get rid of some muddiness a little bit. So let's get rid of around 100 ish and then boost up here and then we'll just use a regular utility to bring it up cut some more lows out actually These can go down quite a bit. I want that uh, crash to have a little more reverb. So let's throw a, let's just throw a vintage reverb on. There we go. And then I want some more overdriven stuff in the last chorus, some heavier stuff going in. We got some Fortune Cali Suite. I'm sure that'll work. Let's go for it.
But I just added some extra guitars in the last course here. Uh, and then I want this volume. I want this volume to come up a little bit here. Okay, I think that's the beat. That's some reverb on the bass just for the intro. Then I have everything going to a rear bus right here, which is just compression, very heavy compression. Everything but the drums are going to. Uh, and also, I have everything but the drums going to a rear bus right here. It's an Andrew Chef's technique. You just feed it into a compressor, very fast, very comp overly compressed compressor, and then uh, it sounds like this without it, with it. Just adds a bit of thickness. So, so yeah, I'm gonna take the kick out for the first uh, verse. That's it. It's pretty simple. You can always add more. Um, I'm not an avid Michael Sarah Palin listener, so maybe there's a lot more I could add that I'm not thinking of right now, but I think this is pretty good for just the the meat. The meat and potatoes. I hate I hate that saying. Anyway, if you want to buy the drum kits, uh, there's three of them. They're all in one pack. It's like 25 bucks. Um, you can mix and match however you want. They're all studio recorded, uh, multi-velocity. They're pretty cool. As well as uh, there's courses and stuff, and there's loop kits down in the description as well. And there's a Patreon if you want to support me on Patreon to get the courses for free. You get the loop kits for free. You get the drum kits for free. Um, you get exclusive stuff for free. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.